Welcome back to episode 13 of our Sky series. You're watching me, Brady Brune, and today we're taking a big step away from a cosy island to kick off an industrial boom across Sky. Our focus in today's episode is setting up a vital junction to handle the growing industry traffic that's coming our way. And this is a little area up here where I've chosen to put our industry as we have vital access to shipping. So, let's dive in, start paving the way for Sky's next big phase. Just before we get started, please don't forget to hit that like button, that share and subscribe button to our channel for more Set Skylines 2 content. And also let me know in the comments what you thought about this build and I will be sure to get back to you. So, I need a junction that is going to be big enough to cope with the influx of traffic into our industrial area. I start by deleting the original highway and I change the terrain height. Now, junctions don't have to be perfect, but I want to have this area neat and tidy by adding trees, a couple of little water features and some stones. I do change the road layout a couple of times within the build, which you will notice this, but just to make it look pretty. The one YouTuber who has done some outstanding junctions is Picana. I will leave a link below in the description. He has also got a fantastic tutorial on how to build junctions which is an absolute great help with community, with the community. So why not check him out? Anyway, I'm going to leave you be and I will jump back in very soon.
So after I'd done a little bit of lean mathematics, I upgraded the roads. I hit the little quay section on the little menu at the bottom left here. It just gives that look of I've got a set of barriers running along the highway there. I'm now starting the process of flattening out this land a little bit, uh, fixing out the terrain for our little water area that you're about to see get placed down. I do the same on the other side as well. As you can see on the other side though, it's not quite as a big area at this side. Again, I do fix it. As you can see, I'm now starting to put the water surface pack down. And you can actually find this water surface pack over on PDX Mods by El Gendo. I will leave a link to this mod in the description below. He has got some fantastic mods, it's worth checking them out. So I do put some bushes all the way along here, just to hide the line of the water surface asset there. Just, just ties it up a little bit. And the line doesn't have to be perfect, I want it to be quite rough. I then put a grassy area up down here. I did try and raise the terrain and have the water surface asset around it, but it just didn't look good because it had like a line, it looked like a line dividing the water surface area. So I, I, I didn't do it. So instead, I put that grass asset, asset down. And I've added, added the stones. I love these stones, by the way. I think, they're, I think they're pretty class. And then I just put some bushes around that area just to tidy it up a little bit.
here is the end result. One beautiful looking junction, nice and tidy, nice and clean, nice and neat. Now I haven't named the junction yet, so any suggestions, pop it in the comments below and I will be sure to pick a name. I love the way the trees are, I love the way the bushes are and I love the stone layout. If you did like this content and hit that like button down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well where you can be notified when I post my next little bit of content. So, you've been watching me, Bearded Bruin, and until next time, happy gaming.